Hello and welcome to episode 2 of the Aeronautica Imperialis series. I'm your host, JB Wargamer87, also known as James Barker. Your host here today, and we have Dan Hunter. He's back. He's back with his towel this time. If you haven't watched the last uh, and first episode of the Aeronautica Imperialis series, do check that out. Uh, it's an absolutely fantastic battle. We had a really, really good fun here, and also uh, looking forward to more future Aeronautica Imperialis uh, battle reports. So, if you're interested in battle reports um, when it comes to Aeronautica Imperialis or 40k, uh, do send me an email and we'll sort out a game with you as soon as possible. So, uh, this is it. It is simply the Imperial Navy Aeronautica Imperialis versus the Tau Aircast. So Dan has brought down his towel this week uh, for this particular episode. Uh, I've uh, got my Thunderbolt Furies and it's simply against the towel Barracudas. So what we're going to do now is we're going to check in more detail of what upgrades and points costs we've got. Right, so this is the uh, Imperial Navy uh, wing that has been sent to deal against the Tau uh, in this episode. It's roughly a hundred and five points I believe in total so here are the upgrades so we've got the Thunderbolt Fury uh, the points have been changed now it is actually 27 points now this is the old card uh, so we have the ace and then we have two sky strike missiles he has an ejector seat and he has an imperial ace just like the previous uh, battle report and then we have the regular Thunderbolts three Thunderbolts bulk standard equipped with the quad auto cannons so uh, that there is the list for the Imperial Navy Aeronautica Imperialis. And now we're going to check out the Tau. Right, this is the Tau aircast that has been sent to deal against the uh, Imperial Navy in this classic dogfight mission. So tell us what you've got uh, here. Uh, we have two Barracuda AX-52s. They have the Swift Strike Railgun on the front. They have missile pods. They also have a cyclic iron blaster drones underneath. Yep. And I have also equipped them with seeker missile bays. Okay. So they have a one shot missile. Yep. Um, well, one use per the missile bay. Mm -hmm. uh, and then their wingmen are the Barracuda AX 53s mm -hmm. with the Swift Strike Burst Cannon. Nice missile pods. They also have the long barreled burst cannon drones underneath. Nice. And uh, they also have seeker missile bays. Okay. They're, uh, they're tooled up. Yep. Ready for a fight. Ready for a fight. So this roughly works now. Points cost. Uh, about 110. 110 points, which we're happy about. So uh, yeah, this classic fight here is just a friendly narrative dogfight mission uh, on this uh, planet here. So that's the uh, Tau forces. Now we're going to check out uh, the uh, forces and scenario. So the mission that we're going to be playing is dogfight, the classic dogfight mission uh, for Aeronautica Imperialis in this mission. And this is from uh, the Ryan's World campaign book. So the uh, background, two air combat patrols meet unexpectedly in the skies. The encounter is fast and deadly. Forces. The players should manually agree a points value between 25 points to 250 points and choose their forces accordingly. Only scouts, fighters and bombers are recommended for the dogfight scenario. Set up. Players set up on opposite sides of the area of engagement, starting with the winner of the roll-off. Players take turns in place of the aircraft within three hexes of the edge of the area engagement. If the ground defences are in use, they may be set up uh, within six hexes of the owning player's edge of the area engagement. Both players may choose to speed the altitude of the aircraft before setting up reserves. If both players agree, each player may keep a maximum of two aircraft in reserve. The combined cost of these may be more than 25% of the total points value of the force. Night fighting and bad weather. If both players agree, the rules for night fighting and or bad weather may be used during this game. Underdog. If one player's force is smaller than the opponent's by five points or more, they will automatically have the initiative in the first turn. If there is no uh, difference in points, initiative is rolled 
or as normal. Victory conditions. The game lasts for 12 turns until one side is forced to disengage or until one, enemy, uh, one player has an aircraft left uh, operating in the area of engagement. When the game ends, calculate victory points to determine the winner. So that is the dogfight scenario, and we're going to go straight on to uh, the engagement of battle. Right, we've deployed now the uh, uh, manoeuvres. All the manoeuvres are done before the roll-off for initiative. So it is initiative time. Turn one has commenced. Five, three, and uh, I'm going to go first in this particular mission. So the engagement has begun. Good hunting, sir. And you. The punch in the <laughs> 2020s is the new thing. Uh, so uh, we're going to go straight on to the first aircraft, and that is, I'm going to do the Imperial Ace here. And he's going to do a number one level flight. And his speed is two. Now, am I going to increase the throttle? I'm going to not increase, I'm going to keep it as it is. I'm going to keep it cautious and steady. I'm going to go over to there. He's done. <laughs> it's how air cast next to choose an aircraft. Right. We will go with the middle Barracuda. He is at altitude 3. Mm -hmm. Speed five. Speed five. He's doing a level flight. Okay. So we will go one, two, three, four, five. Mm -hmm. And we will go down the speed and up a An altitude, we will come up to meet you. Oh, so we're level pegging on altitude. Okay. Uh, I'm going to choose Thunderbolt number two. All the Thunderbolts are numbered, uh, just for reference sake. Uh, keeping it, of course, to the narrative in our games. Uh, so, uh, number one, which is a level flight, I'm just going to do exactly the same uh, as the other one. I may be tempted to increase my speed, get into range. But I don't think I'm going to do that. I'm going to keep it. Ah, I don't know what is quite tempting, to be honest with you. I'm going to go up a throttle uh, to three. So at least I'll get a shot in with the LAS cannons. So I'm going to go to here. I'm going to do that. It's not breaking formation quite yet, but uh, we'll see what happens. Is there a level flight again? Just an arc on the ace, but yeah. it's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Okay. Long range. Long range. Mm. Okay. Uh, next is uh, I'm going to do Thunderbolt number four, which is this one here. And it's doing a six, and that is a stoop. So I'm going to increase my throttle to two. So was on two, now it's on four, keeping it to the same altitude. So we're going to go over here, one, two, turn, three, four, five, six. Give me into there. I beg your pardon, that's a four, I'll go back to there. That's four movement. So this Barracuda is going to do a swoop. One, two, three, four, five. Yep. Yeah. Yeah. He's going to spin that way. Okay. And this uh, Thunderbolt number three is doing a stoop as well. And I'll do rinse and repeat, uh, like exactly the same on Thunderbolt number four. I'm going to go uh, to its left port. So I'm going to go over here, turn. So two, and then turn, and then four. 
right to there. He's also doing a stoop. Okay. That'd be a long range. Yeah. So tower, uh, tower, quite good at uh, long range. What's the uh, what's the um, how many types of manoeuvres can you do uh, the Barracuda? They can do up to seven. Seven, so they're quite agile. They're very agile, very, very agile. Uh, but they are um, only structured to. Two structure. So they will fold up like a napkin. Okay. So which will be better, the Thunderbolt or the Tau Barracuda? This could be a tester here. Let's just see the resilience or technology that will help. So, uh, the... Um, now, who won the first turn? It was uh, me, wasn't it? Yes. Yeah. Yes, I'm gonna, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to fire the ace first into the Barracuda, Barracuda, the front one. So I'm going to fire its twin last cannon at medium range. I'm going to double check. One, two, three, four, five, six. I'm in medium range. Level of altitude, including fives. And that's a double one. <laughs> Snake Eye is there. And then the Avenger Bolt Cannon, Twin Avenger Bolt Cannon, uh, needing fives. That's three hits. Uh, fours to damage, sixes are additional damage. So one damage on the Barracuda. And I'm going to unleash set of missiles. So using the Skyfire Sky Strike missiles. Uh, I've got to do this, ladies and gentlemen. Hold on just a second. Now, if you've watched my introduction of the Aeronautica Imperialis uh, uh, on my brother's channel of my aerial uh, fleet, all of my missiles are magnetized. To give a little bit of a cinematic feel, I'm going to detach the magnets whenever I fire missiles. So two Sky Strike missiles are going to go into that Barracuda here. So it is within medium range, it is effective. Uh, so uh, needing a five plus. Oh, one hits. Now it's threes to damage. Six is do additional damage, and they've only got two structure points. And that's one Barracuda destroyed from the ace. One hits its mark. Okay, what are you going to be doing? This Barracuda yep. is going to fire at um, Thunderbolt number three. Okay. The long barrel burst cannon drones and the swift burst can swift strike burst cannon both hitting on fives wounding on fives so we'll roll them all together yeah um I'm it's the same strength I'm, profile yeah it's exactly the same i'm okay. actually hitting you on sixes because you are at altitude four yes i am at currently altitude three mm. okay one hit one hit and uh, the uh, damage? That's a five. Five plus. No damage. That's on Thunderbolt number three. Uh, I will fire my missile pod mm -hmm. at uh, long range as one shot. Yeah. Sixes. No. No. Okay. Altitude making a bit of a difference there. Uh, next is Thunderbolt number four I'm going to declare. Just a flat Thunderbolt. Uh, so that's one, two, three, four, five, six. Uh, so it's in medium range, uh, the quad auto cannon, uh, six shots at medium range. Uh, your altitude is three, three, and my altitude is four, so minus one to the hit rolls, uh, so you need sixes. Uh, they've all missed. That's that Thunderbolt completed. So the... I will go with uh, this uh, Barracuda here. Yep. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Medium range. Uh, which gives me two dice. No, sorry, medium range. 
is not eight, that's be long range. Yeah, eight. So yeah. I get one, one dice for long range, I get one dice for the missile pods at long range, and the cyclone, the, those blaster drones are out of range, so mm -hmm. two shots at you. Two shots. So swift strike rail gun. Yep. Hitting on sixes, this is going into the ace. Yep. That's a two. <laughs> That's off camera. That's and a three. three. So okay. he has completely failed. Okay. Uh, next is uh, Thunderbolt number three. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. So a single las cannon shot, which misses. And any other shooting? Uh, I then have this Barracuda. One, two, three, four, five, eight, nine, ten. Okay. So very long range. He is in. Uh, so yeah, be another two shots. One from the missile pod and one from the um, railgun. Yep. So the railgun hits. Oh, hits the railgun. Uh, I damage you on a two plus. Two plus extra damage on a six. Yeah. Uh, so damage. one damage, that's on, on, the ace. on the ace, okay. And then the missile pod, that's taken on a six, damage. misses on a five. Okay, ace is taking damage here. Uh, next one is number two, which is the last one, and it's going to fire into that one over there. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Uh, I'm going to fire the last cannon. Which hits. Uh, what's your altitude? Just to double uh, check. Three. So I needed a six and I've got the six. Uh, Last cannon does two sixes are additional damage. And that's a single point of damage on that Barracuda. Okay. Uh, that is turn one completed. We're going to do the end. There's no tailing. So I'm going to do the end of turn one, and we're going to go on to the planning phase, on to turn two. Well, on turn two, chose the manoeuvres, initiative time. Five, a three. Ooh. We are going to go first uh, this time. So I'm going to choose Thunderbolt number three, which is this one here. So flight officer, he's doing a number three. Three is a turn. So I'm going to increase my speed. Where should I keep it? Yeah, I'm gonna increase my speed to five. I'm gonna keep the altitude as it is. We're gonna turn this side over to here. And we're gonna go uh, one, two and then three four and then five to there like that he's going to do a level flight mm -hmm. He is going to throttle back to three. He's going to go one, two, three, and spin. Okay. You're in medium range. Yeah. Um, he is also going to drop another speed. And he's going to climb up an altitude to meet you at altitude four. Luckily, the barracudas have a minimum speed of one. Yes, that's they, useful, very agile. Very yeah. agile, and they can uh, they, they can uh, really slam on the brakes. Mm. Okay, I'm going to do number two now. Uh, Thunderbolt number two. This is uh, a... Uh, Flight officer here. He's going to do a number two, and that's a stoop. 
I'm going to increase my speed to 5, keeping the same altitude, because Thunderbolts can increase their throttle by 2. So, I'm going to go 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, and then turn to here. Bet you didn't expect that manoeuvre. <laughs> But the tower are very, very sneaky. Sneaky tower. So we're going straight. Yeah. We are going to throttle back to three and go up to number four. Mm -hmm. One, two, three. Okay. And guess who's an arc? <laughs> <laughs> We're, so we're trying all, to outmaneuver each other. <laughs> we're pointing at each other. Yeah. We're pointing at each other. <laughs> we're trying to cover each other. I'm going to do. Uh, actually, he is of the rank. Yeah, he's flight officer. These are pilot officers. The two remaining ones of the rank here. So uh, pilot officer over here. I'm going to start off with number four, Thunderbolt number four, and it's a three. Now, three is a turn. Oh, decisions here. What are we going to do? So for a turn, I have to do two at least. So I'm going to go for... Yeah, I'm going to go two to here. And then keeping within medium range, I'm going to turn uh, like this and advance to. So I outflank you now. <laughs> going one. Yep. We're going to throttle back. Then I break up, break up. Three and go up to number four. One, two, three. And. You, sir, are in arc. Yep. And then finally, uh, the ace. He's doing a two, which is a stoop. And he is going to do Yeah, I'm just going to do this. So I'm going to turn this way, here to two, keeping the same altitude. Your altitude is four. I'm just going to turn like that. Okay. Like that. Okay. So now it's the shooting phase, firing. Mm -hmm. So I'm going to fire the last, and I'm, actually I'm not going to fast, not fire the last remaining missile. We're going to save them in case I fail, because I do have the option of doing that. So I'm going to fire the twin lance cannons into that one, because okay. I don't want my ace getting shot at. So I'm going to fire the Avenger bolt uh, cannon, uh, we'll keep that result, I'm not going to re-roll that, uh, fours uh, do damage, sixes are additional damage, that's a drop time. Then the twin las cannons, even fives. No. Now I will spend my missiles. Last two remaining missiles to go into there. So the ordnance, I am within medium range, which is effective. So needing uh, fives. No, it's a double two. So failed there with the missiles. You got away there lightly, boy. Yes. <laughs> Xenos scum. <laughs> right, okay, I know what I'm gonna do. Mm -hmm. Luckily, out of arc here, I'm 
bit of range there. Mm. He's an arc of him, he's an arc of him. Mm. Whereas I can shoot, he's going to die. He's got one, one point left. He's going to die. Okay. So let's use him and we'll take him out, hopefully being able to save him. So, okay. you're at medium range, so that gives me two shots with the rail gun, yep. and then three shots with the missile pods. Right. Hitting you on fives. So you're on fives. One, One hit. hit. Okay. Uh, two twos to damage, and yep. uh, six is extra damage. Uh, one damage. One damage. That's on uh, number two. Number two. The flight. The flight officer has been. Uh, the missile pods are going to fire. That's finished. Expired as fire. Nothing. Nothing. Okay. Uh, so the drones underneath are going to fire. Yep. Into the same target. Uh, two hits. Two hits. Uh, damage output uh, is five. Fives to damage. Oh. Another damage. Okay. And we are going to have to go with the seeker bays. Yep. It's the one time missile. Missile. Yeah. Uh, so fives. Oh. oh two hits. Uh, damaging you on threes. Threes. And sixes is extra damage. He's oh, blown out of the sky. Blown out of the sky. That's flight officer. Thunderbolt number two has been destroyed. Retribution time. Going to fire number four, pilot officer. In medium range, going to fire the twin less cannons first into that barracuda there. Okay. Uh, level okay. altitude is... Uh, they're level. They're level, so five, two to destroy. It's destroyed. Another barracuda has to come uh, to the firepower. Uh, we are going to fire him into him. Yep. So he has the swift burst cannon with six shots at medium range. Yep. And then an additional three shots with the drones underneath. But we'll get to those in a minute. Mm -hmm. So um, fives followed by fives. Yep. Boss is shooting. It's two shots there. Two hits. Two hits. Um, so I can't bring you down. No. Uh, but I do do a damage. Mm -hmm. uh, it's on him. Number three. Do you do damage? Uh, no. I just took that one off there to remind me that I have fired yeah. that um, there. No, I may as well put this one back on. So We then have the missile pods of mm -hmm. another three shots, wounding on fours. Yeah. Uh, so I completely miss with that. Okay. Uh, I get three shots with the underslung. Um, uh, drones. Drones, yeah. A hit. Uh, one hit. Fast damage. They do pump up a lot of shots, they don't do. they? They do. Yeah. They, they do. Uh, so, two shots with the Seeker Missile Bay. They're one time missile bays. Yeah. Okay. Um, Got a hit. One hit. Uh, extra damage on a six. Wood damage Here on a three. There we go. Though. Brought down, and he was your last guy to shoot. Ah, it was. Ouch. Counter blow there. Which then allows me to open up yeah. over here yeah. with everything I've got. Yeah. And I'm going to put it into your ace. Mm -hmm. uh, so he has two shots with the swift rail gun. He has uh, the cyclone, cyclonic blaster, so he only gets mm -hmm. one shot at medium range with them. Yeah. But then he gets three shots with his uh, missile pods, and then 
We'll use the missile seek. We we'll use the seek and missiles. We'll just crawl. we'll do the lot. Do the lot. Uh, so swift strike railgun. Yeah. Hit on fives. Okay. One hit. Damaging on a two. Extra damage on a six. Okay. So plinked off an extra damage. Oh. Uh, missile pods. One hit. One hit. Could it be over? Four plus. It is now. It is. On a six, the ace is brought down. So ejector seats activate on a five plus. We save the pilot. Save the pilot. So that's 75% of the points cost. And we're going to double check something here. We may have to disengage because yes, of do. 75% losses for the aircraft. Yes. Right, uh, planning is all done. We're on to turn three. It's disengagement phase now. Three, five. I will let you go first. Okay. It's going to be number three. The pilot's safe. He's alive to live to fight another day. So this is a turn. So I'm going to go as fast as I possibly can. To six. I may have to push the engines a little bit here. I could risk breaking up. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to do the turn. So I'm going to go this over here. One, two. And then I'm going to go like that. One, two, three, four. <laughs> will he catch me? Uh, so he will go on a level flight. Yep. We are going to push our throttle up by two. Yep. What's the throttle increase on your barracudas? Two. two. Okay. We will go one, two, three, four. Yep. Spin. Yep. Seven, eight, nine. We're in at long, long range. range. Okay. Uh, here again, we will increase by two. So I've got the speed five. We're doing a level flight, and we will just go one, two, three, four, five. Okay. Uh, so one, two, three, four. Medium range. Lovely, jubbly. Okay. Um, you have nothing in arc to shoot at me with, no. so I guess it's my shooting on you. Yep. Uh, we are going to go with the fully armed Barracuda because yep. why not? Why not? Uh, we will go two shots with the Swift Strike Railgun hitting on fives. Okay. One hit. One hit. Uh, two's extra damage on a six. We okay, it's been damaged. Fleet you off some damage. We're yep. going to put the missile pods, three shots into you. Yeah. Oh no. We have two hits. And we are damaging on four plus. Four plus. One. One damage. One damage. Last we get structure. three shots from. No, we don't. Sorry, we get one shot from our drones underneath. Yep. Okay. One we miss. Missed. And we are going to use the missile seeker base, the last missiles that we have. Uh oh. Here it comes, coming in hot. Miss. Missed. Okay. So it relies now on the long range firepower yep. of his mate over yep. here, mm -hmm. which is three shots and a single shot, and then two shots from the drones. So we'll go with the drones first, mm. hitting on fives, one hit, yep. wounding on fives. Nothing. Okay. We have three shots with the burst cannon, hitting on fives. One. Okay. Wounding you on fives. No. Okay. Four, four. And the missile pods, I think you are going to escape. Yeah. Missed. Missed. Okay. So I'm going to do the planning phase, uh, coming right up. Right, initiative time. Five, three. three, and we're going to do number one, exactly the same, it Just goes off there. there. So, guys are going to do number five. four turns, so one, two, two, two three, four, four, five. Yeah, and exactly the one, same. One, two, three, four, five. They all fly off, 
And what we're going to do now is we're going to calculate the final score. It has been a quick, swift engagement in this battle report. Probably the quickest battle report I've ever filmed. <laughs> so we're going to get a final victory point uh, total uh, for both factions. Coming right up. Right, we have a final score uh, for this mission. Uh, the Tau have scored 98 points, 98.5 points to be precise, to the Imperials 71.5 uh, points. So it is a Tau victory. So congratulations to the Tau. Uh, let's have a quick summarise of this very quick and swift engagement. It was a good start. I wanted, uh, the, basically the plan was, was to have a diamond formation and then just to spread out and then outflank you, try and do the buffalo move. Yeah, uh, but, so, um, so saw you it doing It kind of that. worked in the centre, but then what happened with the tower technology, with lots of shots, overwhelming rate of fire, managed to bring down like two to three thunderbolts in a single in round. Same, yeah. So that was a big, big uh, drawback there for the Imperial Navy. Uh, unit of the game, obviously, it had to be the ace who safely ejected himself from danger and he has safely landed in the near sector of the Tau aircraft. So, uh, or somewhere around here. Yes, uh, <laughs> so, uh, the uh, fire warriors and the pathfinders and the stealth suits will be out looking mm -hmm. for him. Can he evade capture? Yes, can he evade capture? There may be a future narrative better report regarding that issue uh, as the channel uh, grows and progresses. So, uh, the Tau Barracudas, I have to say, are pretty effective. Lots of firepower. Those rail guns, when they got those hits in, were very deadly yeah, indeed. Yeah, rail Even guns, on the two pluses. Yeah, uh, two, two pluses, extra damage on a six. Um, they don't get many shots. And they they don't work up mm. close. The no. minute you are within three hexes of your opponent, you get nothing. Yeah, kind of similar to um, Naz cannons. Yeah, yeah. Um, but they they hurt mm. big time. They do. Um, the the missile pods as well. So the the tower barracudas have an unlimited ammunition in their missile pods, but mm. their seeker missile bays are once per game. Yeah. You've, you've, you've got four weapons, whereas yeah. most aircraft have two mm. or three. Yeah. I've got four. Yeah. Um, but as you saw in the very early, well, the, the first plane to go down was a Barracuda. They fold up like tissue paper mm. when you catch them. Yeah. When they catch them, so they you have to choose who you're shooting down very carefully because, well, the second aircraft of yours to go down was the last guy for you to be shooting that turn. Mm. So you lost a, a round of shooting from an aircraft, which mm. then allowed the aircraft mm. that was in his line of sight mm. to shoot down the third. Yeah. Yeah. That lost that lost it for you. That lost it for me, which is a shame, but encourages me to paint some more aircraft. -ish. Um, I've got a whole load to paint, so it's, they're quick and easy to paint. Uh, the, the thing that does take the longest is the patterning, but other than that, uh, everything else is quick and easy to paint, so I need to get some aircraft painted. Paint, maybe paint some... Actually, I'm going to leave it to the, uh, the community on this, uh, subscribers and followers and those that watch the video. What Imperial Navy should I paint first? Should I paint... Lightnings, Avengers, is there anything else? Oh, Vultures. Valkyries, Vultures, uh, the Marauder Pathfinders, and the Marauder Colossus. So, leave a comment. Uh, by the end of the following week, we're going to have a result, and those that have the highest result will have that unit painted first. So we're going to leave it to the community to decide. Lightnings. And if you want to, more Thunderbolts. So I'm not f fussed at all. I've got plenty of aircraft to paint uh, for there. So that's what I'm going to do. Paint more Thunderbolts and paint more aircraft and everything like that. Looking forward to it. I may have, a, have another wing to form another entire squadron. Never know. So leave it to the viewers. Leave a comment. What should I paint first? There will be a list on the pinned comment if you look at that. 
and you just select which aircraft you want me to paint. So a wing of four is what I aim to do. And hopefully, uh, if you do that, if you're interested, I may do a painting tutorial on how to paint Aeronautica Imperialis uh, in the colour scheme of the uh, 1987, the Emperor's Thunderheads. So, there you go. Thank you very much for watching this quick and swift batter report. If you've liked this video, please hit the like button, really appreciate that. If you haven't subscribed already, subscribe, hit the bell button so you won't miss another video, and leave a comment below. Remember, which aircraft do you want painted first? And I will try and do it in a uh, ranking order of who has had the most votes. And if you want to support me further, more battle reports, more content, and extra uh, camera quality and everything like that, do consider me uh, to uh, support me on Patreon. Uh, Patreon.com forward slash JBWarGamer87. Uh, more information on how to support me will be featured in the end credits of this video. Thank you very much to Dan once again for bringing down his Tau Aircast. It has been a long day playing games, but it's been great fun nonetheless. Do check out the previous battle report for more Aeronautica content. Thank you very much for watching, and as always, happy walking. Thank you for watching this video. Remember, if you've enjoyed this video and you want to support this channel freely, please hit the like button, leave a comment below, subscribe to the YouTube channel, hit the bell button so you won't miss another video, share this video far and wide, and if it's one of your favourite videos, please add it to the favourites section, and follow the YouTube channel for more updates. You can also check me out on my other social media networks. You can check out the official page on Facebook, Instagram, Twitter, and YouTube. If you want to contribute and support the channel further, and want your name mentioned in our battle reports, or just support me in general, there are plenty of ways to do so. Head over to the Etsy store for channel merchandise. If you want to book up a game and participate on the channel, do contact me through my email address or through my social media pages. And if you want your name shouted out on the channel, and you want to support me further in making more content, do check me out on Patreon. By becoming a Patreon, you'll help support the channel tremendously, and you'll get to unlock extra features that are only exclusive to Patreon members. These are all the current members that are supporting me right now, and I'd like to thank them all very much for supporting the channel, for Cadians as well as the Ultramarines faction. Rise up to the ranks and win glory for the Emperor. And an added bonus, for those that are supporting me on tier 5 or higher for both factions will allow access to the Discord page. And I would like to also thank the channel sponsors, Goblin Gaming, C Studios, GameMap.eu and The Magnet Baron. Goblin Gaming have very kindly allowed me to have an affiliation link on the channel. Using the affiliation link when purchasing your items for all your hobby needs helps support the channel. I'm also featured on the Striking Scorpion 82 channel, and I also do a monthly unique special video on the Plus channel. Thank you for watching, and happy wargaming!